hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Miss Crochet and Coffee here. And today I'm going to show you how to decorate some of these plain Jane Walmart notebooks into something like this, something personalized for you, for your child for school, or if you're doing bills, or if you're just someone who likes to stay organized and wants fancy notebooks. Anyways, so we have two different types of notebooks here. We have the ones with the plastic cover, and then we have the one with the paper cover. Now, what we're going to do is essentially turn this into that. Now, there's two different ways you're gonna, you can do this, and I'm gonna show you how to do it both ways, but for right now, I'm gonna show you uh, how to take the front cover off, because when I watched videos on this, they weren't showing a lot of this part. So, the first thing you're gonna wanna do and you can do this with any notebook, any size, as long as it has a wire binding like this. Um, if it has like a plastic binding on it, I don't know if you can take that off to put it back on. But this is what we're going to do. Okay, so we're going to, this is my daughter's notebook that I made her for school. Kind of a way to get her excited to get ready to go back to school here soon. So what you're going to need, wire cutters. Now I got these from my husband. He doesn't know, so don't tell him. So what we're going to do, so if you can see right there that little hook we're just going to go in the corner right there and we're going to cut it we're just going to cut that piece off now make sure you you find that piece so you can put it in the trash so you don't have it on the floor if you have pets like i do and then what we're going to do we also need to take this one off i forgot so there's one at the top as well so we're going to take that one off Because if you don't take both of them off, you won't be able to get that binding off. So we're going to take both of those off and then we're just going to unwind it. Don't get rid of that cover page just yet. So don't get rid of this part yet. Because this is going to be your template. Now, there are places on Etsy and stuff that you can buy templates for notebooks. But I'm about to turn you on to something. All you have to do is put this in your printer if you have a printer that has a scanner because you're going to need either a sublimation printer if you're sublimating or a regular printer because this will work with both but you're going to need this so if your printer has a scanner which if you have a sublimation printer more than likely it does have a scanner on it if you have a regular printer it should also for the most part have a scanner on it what you're going to do is you're going to scan this into your computer so i'm going to see you over at the computer and we're going to scan this into the computers and i'm going to show you how to make your own template so you don't have to purchase one all right so now we're over to my computer i have my scan thing set up so all you're going to do is hit scan and this is going to save you from having to find a template for your notebook you don't need to buy a template for this you can scan it on your computer and I'm going to show you how to make it into an SVG or a PNG or whatever you want to call it. So here it is. Here is our notebook. Okay. So now we're going to crop it because I don't want all this extra space on the notebook. I just want the actual notebook itself. So try to crop it in as best you can, just like that. And I'm going to save it as the original. Okay. So there is my notebook and it has all the holes that I need. I'm going to come back a little bit here. I'm going to bring this out because I want to make sure that it has that last hole on it. All right, so there you go, okay? It might cut off my hole a little bit just when you're doing it. Here, we'll try again. So we're going to scan. And like I said, you can try this with any size notebook as long as you can scan the cover into your computer you don't have to go purchase uh, an actual template for it. So now we're gonna crop it again. So we're gonna crop it here and here. I wanna make sure I get that last hole because last time I didn't and it tried giving me a little broken hole and I don't want a broken hole. So we're gonna crop it in as close as we can without chopping off that last hole which is going to be a little bit difficult we're going to just save it like that we're going to save as copy and there you have it and you have like this going on uh to make it a png which is a file that you use for 
Uh, this is all the other stuff I have open on my computer right now. We're going to open up my web browser here. I, I use this online PNG tools.com. It makes anything into a PNG. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my folder here. I'll make it larger so I can see what I'm doing. So we're going to open or we're going to take this and I'm actually just going to drag it to that website. So we're going to drag it in there and release it. And it turns it white, which you can turn that off right there. Boom. And there's our notebook. So we're going to save as. And what that did was it took away all that negative space. So you can see when you turn it white, all that space right there, it might keep that, but we can crop that out. So save as, download. We're going to name it notebook cover. All right, now that we got our notebook cover, we're going to open it up. And I don't like that extra little whatever on the side there, so I'm going to do this. And this. And I'm going to save it. Instead of saving it as a copy, I'm saving it as the original and see how we have all of our holes. All right, perfect. Now what we're going to do is go into Cricut. And I already have a notebook template there, but we're going to start with a new one because this one might be different. So we're going to upload. And as you can see, I have a couple of them there. We're going to browse. It's going to take me right to my notebook cover. Now, when you're in Cricut, go to Complex, Continue. You might have to zoom out because it will zoom it in really big. And as you can see, we're going to preview it. All that gray is what they're keeping. All the white is what they're not. So we're just going to make sure that they took out all those holes. And this is how you're going to get the paper that you want to print. And I'm going to show you the paper once we get back to the computer. And we're going to keep that as notebook cover. Apparently we put a P in there instead of an O. Notebook cover. Five. And then we're going to cut image. Okay. So we're going to upload it. Now, Cricut is notorious for not letting you print large items. And I need this to be notebook size. So the size that I need is a 7. No. We have to measure the notebook again really quick. So I'm going to measure the notebook. All right. So I measured that notebook. And it's 8 by 10.5. So I need to essentially do this in an 8 by 10.5. So we're going to make this large so we don't need the background anymore. So width is going to be 8. And then height is going to be 10.5. And let's put 8, 1. And then what you would do is go down here to this lock, unlock it, and then put 10.5. Okay, that's going to make it the perfect size. but if you try to print this on Cricut, I'm not sure if it'll actually let you print it or not. So let's see. Make it. Oh, it actually will. Okay. Well, I'm going to show you a trick that if it, for some reason, doesn't let you do it, I'm going to show you how to get it to make you, let you do it. Because the last time I did it, it wouldn't let me. Now it's actually letting me, which is great. But if for some reason you're trying to print out something bigger than Cricut is allowing you to, Go over here to shapes, okay? Get like a square. So we're going to pull this square out. And there's our square, right? And then what size is the mat that you're using? So we're going to unlock it. And actually, no, I don't need to unlock it. Because the mat that I'm using is a 12 by 12. So we're going to do 12 by 12. And we're going to just put that here. We're going to put that notebook underneath it. And then what you would do is I'm gonna bring this 12 by 12. Essentially, what you would do is slice it. So you would just take the notebook and we have to bring it forward. And then we're going to slice. 
And then when you slice it, see what it did there? We can get rid of this. We can hide this if we need to. And boom, that will let you make stuff bigger than what Cricut will allow. And you know it'll fit on your mat because you measured it with the square and then you just sliced it out of the square. So you know it's going to fit on your mat. So once you get that cut out, which it seems like it's going to let me actually print out the 8 by 10. We're going to go over here to make it. And you see how it fits on there perfectly? I don't think you need to mirror it. Um, let's see here. Will we need to mirror it? Yeah, we're going to mirror it. Okay, so I'm, I'm still new at this, so forgive me. So we're going to mirror it. And then we're going to hit continue because my mat is 12 by 12. We're going to give this a second because I think I got to turn on my Cricut real quick. Then we're going to go right here. Glitter cardstock. Now the, the cardstock you're going to use is diamond glitter cardstock. So we're going to hit glitter cardstock. And then it has all of our settings going on here. It's taking a minute to load because of the uh, printer. And it's telling me like to load my material. All right, so we got the notebook cover printed out. Now we want to print a design. So I'm going to open up Silhouette, okay? I like Silhouette. It works a lot better for me when printing stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find a design. All right, so now that we got that printed, I don't use Cricut after that. Like I just needed Cricut to print out the notebook thing. So I'm going to go over to Silhouette. Silhouette is the other program that I use when I do sublimation and stuff. It works really well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here and I'm going to find that notebook cover that I did the PNG of. And I'm going to drag it into here. Now it's going to come up super big. I'm going to push it up to the top because I'm going to make the size smaller. So I'm going to click on it and I'm going to make it 8 by 10.5. This is another cutting program like Cricut. They do have silhouette machines, but I don't have a silhouette. I just use the program because it works a lot better than Cricut. So this is just for measuring, okay? Now this is also backwards, so we're going to flip it horizontally. Boom. So now we know the size of our notebook, and this is the size of the actual notebook, okay? Then what we're going to do to get a design onto your your notebook cover, we're going to open here, and I'm going to pick this third grade shark, okay, my daughter loves baby shark, so we're going to use baby shark, so we're going to upload it, it's going to come up really big, and it got rid of my notebook, so I'll have to bring it back, don't worry, that happens sometimes, so I'm going to push it up to the top again, push it up to the top, and then I'm going to change the size of it, so eight, by 10.5. Now, you don't want your image the size of the notebook, obviously, because it'll get to the holes. And now we got to play look and find sometimes, because if you don't push it up high enough, it'll go somewhere. So let me find it real quick. All right, it was at the bottom. So we're going to just push this up now. But I made it that size just because that's the size of the notebook cover. But as you're going to see, we're going to change it. So here we are, we got our design, and we want to measure it to that notebook cover. So we have our design in here, all right? And then we're going to go back to that folder, get that notebook cover, bring it in the silhouette. Now this time it shouldn't, there we go. And we're going to have to resize the notebook cover to the same size. So it's going to be 8 by 10.5. Flip horizontally. And we're going to put it right on top of that image. We're going to bring this to the front. Okay. So, as you can see, it's too big, right? It's too big. You don't want the three covering that hole or on top of that hole, and it's not going to fit on the bottom. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to resize the image. So we're going to do 7 by 10. Now, I don't want that 3 on that hole at all. But I don't want this too close to the edge either. So I'm going to do 6.5 by 10. Now that'll shrink it in a little bit. You also want to make sure that it's centered because you don't want to get the wrong measurements. So we're going to make sure it's centered there. And to they obviously like do have a thing where you can control C to click button. No, control Z. There we go. All right. So we're going to choose the notebook. Con nope. Just trying to get the color. I don't want the color. No, I don't want the color. Anyways, we're going to hit this. It's, why is this thing acting up right now? All right, we're going to center it. And it's telling me that that's centered. Well, obviously, that's not going to work. So we're going to do it like this. We are going to take the notebook. And we're going to do it like this because this is how it's going to come out of the printer. So I already did the changing of the paper. so. The paper size over here is already set. As you can see, it's custom 8 by 10. And then I made it the orientation. I made it landscape. So I'm going to put the notebook paper on here. Except for one thing I found out in my trial and error is that I'm not going to do this exactly how you would think. So we're going to make sure that's on there good. We're actually going to do this upside down because if you do it the other way, it prints the image upside down. So we're going to print it this way. Actually, no, it should be good the other way. Sorry, guys, this is trial and error for me. This is the first time I've printed on something like this. So we're going to make sure that that's right where we want it to be. We're going to scooch it over just a little bit just to make sure that that three isn't touching. Now, obviously, you're not going to print this page here. You're not going to print the notebook page. So we're going to get rid of that. We're just going to delete it. All right. So now you have your design the size you want. So 6.5 by 10, right? So we're going to flip it a couple of times. So we're going to flip it horizontally. And then we're going to flip it vertically as well. Because when you put that glitter cardstock in, you want the glitter side up. Oh, hold on. I, I flipped it horizontally again. So flip it horizontally. Then flip it vertically. So the holes of your paper are going to be pointing towards this number three. So they're going to be pointing up here. So what we're going to do now is we're going to just make sure that this is on there how we want it. And I don't want it too far off away from the holes or anything. So that's how I want it on my page. Okay. Now remember, the glitter part of the cardstock is going to be facing you, which means the holes will be facing to the left, like as if you were putting a notebook directly into your printer. So the holes are facing to the left, with the glitter side up. And then for your print, you're going to flip it horizontally and then vertically. So it looks like the writing is correct. It's going to print upside down, but don't worry, it's supposed to. So we're going to go ahead and print this. So we're going to hit print. And then we're going to go do your preferences. You want to do photo printing, borderless, do a custom landscape, uh, do the size of the paper, not the image. And then you're going to hit OK. That apply button, and my settings are already set, which is why it's not showing me the apply button. The apply button is going to be lit up, so you're going to hit apply and then print. Then it's going to print your image onto your glitter cardstock. And I'll be back with you whenever it's done. All right, so we're back. This is how it printed. So this is how your glitter cardstock should look. And again, the glitter side is up. Now, how do you connect this back to your notebook? I'm going to show you. Uh, I got messed up with a couple of pieces of paper here. 
So take all the papers and stuff that you set to the side. Okay. Just like that, you'll see the holes all line up nice and neatly. And because you copied the cover for it, this will also line up nice and neatly. So when you lift it up, and if it doesn't, you can shimmy it a little bit. It might be just a tad off. There we go. Right there. So, now it's lined up. Now we're gonna reattach it. This is the tedious part because you have to wind this back through. And once you get it through a couple of them, it won't be so bad. And you're just gonna wind this back through here. want to wind it down to all the, the spirals are in. Essentially you already have your notebook cover there. So then what we're going to do is if you, if you remember we cut off those two pieces that were holding it together so it doesn't unbind. That's where the needle nose pliers come in. So then what we're going to do is I'm going to take this. I'm going to bend it over like this. And then I'm just gonna pinch that metal piece. So I'm gonna pinch it down. Just gonna fold it, okay? And then you're gonna do the same thing to the other side. So once we get it through there, we're gonna twist it a little bit so that it goes over that last one. And then we're gonna bend it. Boom. And you now have your own notebook cover and that cardstock acts like the page, the beginning page, the cover page. And you can fold it back, you can close it. Look at that. And you can also put it in a three ring binder. So there you have it. That's how to make a printed photo um, notebook cover without sublimation. I was under the impression you had to do it with sublimation, but no, you can do this with a regular printer. Yes, it's a, it, it is a couple of extra steps. Um, the sublimation, the printing part can be a little tedious and stuff, but once you get it, it's absolutely amazing. And of course you can add your child's name to it if you want. You can add whatever design to it you want. But, so if you have any other questions, comments, or concerns, please leave those down in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer them to the best of my ability. But with that said, folks, I got to get out of here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you're in one of these states that's experiment, or experiencing, not experimenting, experiencing this heat wave, please stay hydrated. Drink your water, girl. Yes. But with that said, I must now bid you adieu. But not before reminding you that it's hard out here in these crafty streets. Please stay safe. Wear your mask. Wash your hands. Don't touch your face. Keep your six feet and always try. Be kind. Be courteous. Be cool. Bye, guys. Thank you.